Speak Out Intermediate, Unit 4.1 Reading, Millionaires. Hi everyone, today we will study on an article about being a millionaire. First, we will focus on some vocabulary related to the context as a warm-up activity, and then we will scan the reading text to match the subheadings. Then we will read the article again in detail for true false statements, and after that, we will guess the meanings of some words or phrases in the article. Finally, you can see further study and practice part. So, you see some words and phrases. Risk taker, a good leader, ambitious, competitive, a good communicator, hardworking, indecisive, thinking outside the box, motivated. I have a question for you. Which of the personal qualities do you need to be a millionaire? Can you choose at least three of them and give the reasons please. You can either write your answers or record your voice and send it to your teacher. Here's our title, uh, you don't have to be rich to be a millionaire uh, and this is the text. You can find this article on pages 44 and 45 on your student's book. Now, please scan the text and match the subheadings with the paragraphs. You should pause the video here. Let's check the answers. The correct answer for the second paragraph is D. Getting rich, all mini events think about. Let's look at the key statements. The answer is money, money, and more money. Money is more important than love or marriage. Must have a clear idea of what you want to do. Get rich. For the third paragraph, the subheading is Working hard is the key to success. And key statements are You have to work hard. Shouldn't take too many holidays. Work more than 60 hours a week. In the fourth paragraph, the correct answer is C, personality traits millionaires have. The key statements are competitive, taking risks, aggressive and self-confident. Finally, the correct answer for the fifth paragraph is B, how millionaires spend their money. Key statements for paragraph five is careful spenders, choose not to spend money on expensive designer clothes, find a bargain, prefer to eat at home. For the second practice, you will read the article again in detail and decide whether the statements are true or false. Pause the video now and play it when you are done. Let's check your answers. First statement is most millionaires have rich families. It is false because in the second paragraph it says you don't have to be born rich to be a millionaire. Most millionaires come from relatively poor backgrounds, so millionaires don't have rich families. Second statement is love or marriage is less important than money according to millionaires. It's true. Because in the second paragraph, it says money is more important than love and marriage. Third statement is the 60-hour work week is enough for most millionaires. It's false. Because in the third paragraph, it says most millionaires work more than 60 hours a week. Fourth statement is millionaires choose not to work when they are on holiday. It is false. In the third paragraph it says, half stay in contact with the office while they are on holiday. Also it says, if you are a really ambitious person, you have to put in the hours. The fifth statement is, when they were students, most millionaires did badly at school. It's true, because in paragraph two it says, you don't have to work hard at school either. 
a lot of successful entrepreneurs were lazy at school and didn't get good results. Sixth statement is, millionaires pay extra attention to what other people think of them. It's false because in paragraph five, it says, millionaires don't care what other people think of them. If you want to be a millionaire, you shouldn't worry about what other people think of you. Let's move on to the third practice. There are some words from the article on the left side and on the right side, you can see the meanings of them. Can you match the words or phrases with their meanings? Please pause the video now. Go on when you are finished. Let's check your answers. Background means the details of a person's family, education or experience. Work-life balance is having enough time for work and for the things you enjoy. Switch off means to stop thinking about something or paying attention to something. Put in means to spend a lot of time or make a lot of effort doing something. Care means to feel that something is important and worth worrying about. Bargain means a thing bought for less than the usual price. For further study and practice, you can check my English Lab Speak Out Intermediate Unit 4.1. Also, you can click on the BBC link to read an article on self-made millionaires. Or you can watch this YouTube video titled Self-Made Millionaires Use These Tricks to Get Rich. As a writing or speaking activity, look at your supplementary pack, page 60. You can either write or record your voice and send it to your teachers.